Hey, Robin. Hey, John. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, absolutely. The reason why I wanted to do this so immediately, so this is just a non-rehearsed thing, and uh, we're going to see where it goes, um, but I had something occurred to me last night, early this morning, that I just wanted to immediately um, talk to you about or talk to really my members of all my meetup groups about. Um, and it's, it just like got me. And here's what got me. So I had a speed, one of my speed dating events last night. And there were some people there that I've been connected to with for 15 years doing, doing date, you know, relationship related things. And I kind of felt, you know, whoever, if somebody's listening that we're, we're there and you might know who I'm referring to. I don't, you know, um, hope you don't feel sad that I'm saying this or don't feel bad that I'm saying this, but I felt, I felt sad inside me that I don't want them there anymore. Like, I don't want you guys, I'm talking about those, Mike, I don't want you in my I group. I get it. I want yeah. to keep you in my group because I want you to have, be in a relationship. I want, I care about you. I love you. I, I want you to be in a relationship. So it was making me, uh, something's wrong here. You shouldn't be here anymore. And um, and so what occurred to me is I know you have this, you know, I worked with, I, you know, dear friend, we've worked together um, over many years and I've been part of your thing that you offer. And I know there's such value in what you offer and you have something else, you have something coming up. And I know, I heard, I'm not sure if I saw you wrote, you wrote this or somebody that I know is taking your this program, but I know one piece of it was removing blocks. Um, what's in the way? Like, what's in the? Why aren't you? Like, what? It, it, you know, if you if you're still single after 15 years, something's like it's not just finding the right guy. It's not the guy. The, the right guy didn't show up. Possibly there's something else inside you that's possibly pre preventing. Um, preventing the openness to receive the person that is already out there. And I know that's in my, and I, you know, I'm going to ask you a question in a minute, but I just know in my life, I feel that happening as I'm becoming more open. My world of dating and relationship is extraordinary. I can tell it's not because all of a sudden they're there, but I'm different and I'm able to receive the people that are out there very differently. And it's kind of life-changing to me. And so now I'm going to ask, I'm going to give it, give the floor to you, Robin, is this, I know you have a program coming up, does what I'm saying about my people that I care so deeply about um, resonate with you that yes, this is a fit for your program? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So the first thing I'll say is hello to your audience, because not everybody knows me. Right. Some yeah, of you. Sorry about that. Didn't no, no worries. <laughs> All good. I'm Robin Vogel. I'm the founder of Come Back to Love. And I've been running this business for 20 years now. And yes, John, you are right, because this particular uh, thing that I am doing that I'm offering coming up this May is focused on singles, men and women who are kind of exactly what you just said been doing the work, been going to events, been speed dating, been doing <clears throat> many other things most likely, and still find themselves without a partner and don't really understand why. And it is easy to say the right person didn't come along, there's no good fish in the sea, all the good fill in the blank are taken, which you know we hear a lot. And another piece of it is What's inside that hasn't been healed, that is still blocking the flow and the, uh, the flow to meeting and also the intimate connection that we so crave as humans. So after many years of doing this work, I realized most of the people coming to work with me are single. Most of them have been in some kind of relationship, not all, but many have been through a divorce and are ready for the next phase of their lives, wanting to meet that partner that they can be with now for the rest of their lives, and haven't quite yet done that deep internal work, doesn't have to be painful, can also be fun, because we laugh a lot in this work, because it's all healing. Um, but whatever needs to happen in order to shift what's happening inside, so that what you just expressed, there's a, more of an openness to deep, loving connection. 
And so I've been really excited. I've been um, inviting people into this program for the last couple of months. It's almost full. It actually has a, just a couple more spaces left, which is really exciting. I'm only taking 10 people. So <clears throat> it's a small group. Um, and that's definitely by design because I want everybody to get as much out of it as they possibly can. Yeah. Yay. <clears throat> is there more to say? Yeah, I can say more about the program itself. I think most people ask like, well, tell me about the program. Yeah. How Please does it, how yeah, does so it first, work? First yeah. of all, thank you. I'm, it's, I'm so oh. so excited. I I followed my, because really it was like, like I wrote, I wrote uh, an email this morning to somebody from the group that she was there. Well, I don't want you being there. I said, oh, you have to take Robin's thing. I think this might be good. And then I, then I thought of, you know, reaching out to you to have this conversation. I'm so glad I did. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, tell us more about the tell us more about the program. Absolutely. So it's a six month program. It's a combination of Zoom, live Zoom calls, uh, and in person retreat. So it includes a three night, three day in person weekend retreat uh, towards the end of the program. Other than that, we meet we're meeting regularly on Zoom live, and there's supplemental trainings and recordings for people to listen to to learn the most often new material that I've been teaching that will um, inform the work that we do together uh, when we're together on Zoom. There's also group connection outside of our meetings, um, you know, whether not on Facebook, but on some format so people can connect. I haven't chosen it yet. Uh, but I think the most important thing is to talk about uh, some of the work, which is um, tools that are unique to come back to love that have been using as part of the methodology to support people in healing and opening their hearts and feeling safe enough to feel connected. And a lot of that is steeped in my own uh, training and in internal family systems work, which helps us do the work of actually falling in love with ourselves, um, which is often one of the blocks that people don't feel good about themselves. So they can't really attract uh, what they deserve to have in their lives. Some of the other work that we do is steeped in the world of neuroplasticity and neuroscience and research, because that is really powerful work that has to do with changing limiting beliefs that keep us stuck to a more open and expansive and infinite way of being in the world that anything is possible. And then from that place, we get to and can attract what we want in our lives. There's also shamanic journeying, which has been a long time study and practice of mine, which really helps us go in and excavate the pieces that are stuck that are hard to see. Because I think one of the biggest issues and one of the things I hear the most is I don't know why I'm still here. Like, I don't understand why I'm still single, right? Like ugh, that level of expression and exuberance when people, you know, feel that way is is so powerful and and this shamanic journey and combined with some of the other tools I just mentioned really supports us in actually finding the reason like the why is in there believe me it's in there and we can find it and once we find it we can work with it but it's so protected it's so covered up because it's been so many years of you know whatever happened in your life a long time ago things kind of get tucked away inside and we don't really give them enough attention. And these parts that still need healing are deep inside and they tend to get stuck. It's really normal to have that experience. So I totally understand when somebody says like, why is this still happening to me? Um, and so that's an example of some of the tools that we use to find out what is happening, recreate, uh, recreate, well, let's say recreate the past, create a new future. Um, with a, an open heart and feeling good about yourself and uh, the clarity of what you want your path to be moving forward. Sounds really wonderful. Yeah, that's great. I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm so excited to, you know, that you're sharing this with my groups and I'm really grateful for that. Um, yeah, it's, my, it's my third time leading this program and it just keeps getting more expansive. Yeah. When I when I started leading it last year, I did two groups and I just realized it needs to be so much more than three months. It needs to be six months because there's so much material and I like people to have the time and space to really get as much out of it as they possibly can. Wonderful. And if somebody is interesting, will there be, I'm assuming there'll be, when I send this out, there'll be a link below for them to yeah. just uh, contact you or to, is contact that, me. Yeah, because 
Okay. The best thing is to have a conversation with me because the program isn't for everybody, to be okay. honest. It is for people who have done some work already. Yep. And so it's not for people who are completely brand new to personal growth. Yep. And also I'm curating a, you know, a group of 10 people that are really going to connect with each other. So I'm looking at the dynamics of the, you know, people that are interested. And if it's a, the right fit, I will invite you in. And if it's not, I'll have other suggestions for you. Wonderful. That sounds so great. Thank you so much for, for being here and for having this conversation with me. I'm so glad I followed my my guts and said, I gotta talk to Robin. I'm literally this was this morning that I a couple hours ago that I I had this. <laughs> oh my God, I have to talk to Robin. Yes. Um, so thank you so much. And everybody else, people in, in the groups, um, thanks for watching. And if this if it's at all something you're interested in, highly recommend you given um contact you, Robin, seeing if it's a good fit. Yes. Look forward to talking to you. Bye, everybody, for now. Bye, Robin. Thank you. You're welcome.